uh, playing. Uh, we he's been flown out for a few events, and um, I I believe he was he's ranked the number one player in Australia. If I'm not correct, he was at one point. I believe he's number two or three now to the likes of Jay Dizzle. But okay. I mean, that's not any indication that his skill level has dropped as well, and especially enjoying some of these buffs that K. Roll received about a month ago that improved Nair. A lot of the neutral tools are a lot better, but you're still a big body, and Wolf loves to have that available to him, especially at low and mid percents. Okay, yeah, and with a character like K. Roll, who has that combo-breaking potential with the Nair, you really need to know your combos. Brian just trying to bite off a little more than he could chew and got reversible for it. Although, look at the body armor on K. Roll already. It's pretty much more than halfway cracked already. Yeah, I mean, that was a really risky there, Nair there, because if Korean broke his his shield there, uh, then Ben Gold's stock would have been forfeit. Out of the range of the down smash, and a bit too late on the timing, although that crown is going to stop the Firewolf and able to get the forward air after it sends him backward. I suppose just landing with that F tilt there. And it's going to catch the other landing with the up air. So and Gold draws first blood, lands with an air, but back into the grab. All right. Yeah, you. there's not a lot you can do to contest that recovery that uh, K. Roll has. It has a hitbox on the top of it, which is pretty tricky. Um, but Wolf is in a much better spot at the ledge anyway. Yeah, speaking of moves you don't want to contend, that up smash is absolutely going to get the kill, eviscerating even a character as heavy as K. Roll is, but Ben Gold still making work of these platforms. I like what Korean did there. He kind of, he's been, uh, been uh, overextending on these combos a little bit, so he just waited out Ben and tried to catch his landing there, but was unable to get it. Uh, unfortunately now, I'm sure Ben is on to him, so we'll see if... Korean could still make something happen here, though, as he's got him off stage. Four throw tech chase, and K. Rule's ledge grab animation is a lot lower than many characters in this game, so it's particularly difficult to two frame with Wolf's down smash or forward tilt, but that's not stopping Korean from trying. Okay, run up F smash. Tries to, I mean, surprisingly safe from Wolf. Uh, not a lot that K. Rule can do for it, and somehow Ooh. Korean getting out of that very. Uh, maybe uh, Ben Gold just misspacing it slightly. Tried to guess the timing with the up smash, but Korean gonna find an up smash of his own as K. Rool actually gets in through yeah, the leg. Yeah, that'll clip you every time if you're not ready for it. But Korean finally mating him with the second hit of the up smash. Takes a very down slight throw. lead, and that down throw dash attack is gonna extend it okay, a little yeah, bit. But once again, Korean getting knocked off stage here. He's getting a little too greedy with these confirms. If he was uh, holding off a little bit, I feel like this lead would be a lot bigger. Spawn dodges in and out, and the falling there isn't going to lead to anything but the rapid jab for Ben Gold. Misses the tech, but unable to guess right on the getup. Oh, trades coming out. Okay, Ben Gold jumping threateningly in the air. Uh, I admire the lack of fear he has as he goes for these jumps. Uh, just, oh! Yeah, I mean, just K. Rule being so huge, you do not want to be in the air against Wolf, especially above him that high. Yeah. But again, being very patient. Yeah, K. Rule is huge, but missing the platform tech twice did him really no favors, and that up air popped him up for the second time in a row, leaving him in perfect position for the back air. Yeah, I mean, although Nair is a good landing option, if your opponent is expecting it, you can space around it, you can punish it. There's a lot of things you can do. It's it's not a... Uh, it's not a catch-all by any Yeah, the get-out-of-jail-free card. But I think that Ben has seen how uh, Charles has played... Uh, sorry, Korean has played around Nair, and uh, that is where Korean has struggled a little bit. So I think he's maybe trying to attack that weakness a little more. I'm wondering I'm wondering if we're going to see that a little more here from Ben. Yeah, Ben didn't really take game one. He certainly lost it by the very end, but quite a lot of his neutral play and his disadvantage play up until the very end was pretty solid, all things considering, and there's quite a bit of knowledge you can take from that first match. Yeah, that up air is actually really strong. That tip we're coming out on this crown. 
I think Nair is actually going to poke through the shield and okay, excellent Cook. work not to drop through the platform. Wanted the fair bear. Korean backing off there, oddly. Uh, had him at the ledge. But okay, going to catch the bullet or catch the cannonball. Korean is has played this game too long to fall for that, though. Yeah, no amount of blunderbuss shenanigans are going to work as a player. Okay, extremely gets experienced. the here. Korean air dodging the ledge. Gets the jump off his off his head. On his footstool, but the down smash into the sweet spot as well, but I'm quite sure the sour spot would have been close anyway. Ben Gold, even with that amount of weight, you're just so, so susceptible at any range if you're going to miss a tech like that. Okay, gets the crown. Oh, I, I was hoping we were going to see him pick up that crown and throw it again. He could have extended that a little bit. Okay, up tilt coming out from Ben Gold. Here he goes for the reflector. Pretty risky, but uh, still able to get back to the ledge. Actually doesn't carry quite as much risk as you would think if Ben Gold's not directly at the ledge, but speaking of direct, that is a direct route from those two feet right into the abdomen of Wolf. Okay, Korean learning from earlier, shielding that OP at the ledge. Uh-oh. Big damage here coming out for, from, from uh, Ben Gold here. This is his opportunity to bring back this lead. There's a problem with the Nair, and the Blaster is actually going to interrupt the blunderbuss. Okay, I, waits it out. I nice. love that from Korean. He used the throw invincibility to get around the crown hitbox. Yeah, that was very smart from Korean there. Timed that so well. Okay, landing air there from Ben. These nairs are not working out for Ben anymore. It seems like Korean sort of adjusted to a lot of what uh, Ben has been doing, or some of the gimmicks that this character has. And K. Rool in general just relies on you having a tough time making it back from the ledge, but Korean is having none of it. Every time he goes into disadvantage, he seemingly finds a way around some of these platform traps. Okay, Korean goes for a down smash there. It's spaced a little too far away to get him while he's uh, at the ledge there. Oh, gets the Nair. Oh, oh no! he's gonna cheese him though. Oh, hits him with the Wi-Fi K. Rool right there. But speaking of missed techs, it's gonna be Korean who misses the tech, able to get him off with the fourth throw into the dash attack afterward. Yeah. Okay, some shield pressure coming out from Korean here. And Ben is getting grabbed again here. And that is the danger of this matchup. Oh, gets a spike. Big damage here from coming from Ben and gets the trade. Oh, suddenly this game just tilted in Ben's favor. Yeah. Able to wait out the invulnerability, and Ben Gold just had a timer going off in his mind. Just recognize Wolf and 90% is about just after the range of one blunderbuss sucking period, and that's going to be it for Korean's final stop. Yeah, I've seen that face before from Korean there. He is, he is salty. He is very salty with that one. He, uh, ben got some really good, uh, a really good gimp there. Or I don't wouldn't necessarily call it a gimp. I call it cheese. Call it what it is. But this game has a lot of cheese, and I'm not gonna hate on Ben for it. In fact, I love that he was able to get that. Um, but we'll see here if Korean can pull himself together here. Yeah, good extension off of the down throw dash attack with the F tilt afterwards. But Ben Gold is gonna find a way back into advantage state only for the moment. It's a missed tech from Korean. That could have been nasty. Second comparison goes up high for the back air, but okay. not going to get him off stage though. Yeah. Just into the blunderbuss. Tries to go for the forward throw to get him into a tech chase, but Ben Gold DIing outward, so he'll be sent off stage. There. Okay. F tilt here. Ben Gold's getting sent sent off a lot here, uh, off stage a lot here, but Korean. Oh. oh. Okay, I see you, Ben, going for that down air into the kill off the top. Korean just wasn't expecting that at all. Yeah, I just feel like uh, Korean needs to do a better job of of, uh, of getting more out of these disadvan disadvantage situations that Ben is in. Because um, he's had him off stage several times, but Ben has found his way back, which is maybe less 
uh, about Korean and more about Ben being good at this game. Yeah, still living at 200%. And that time, oh. it's going to be Korean who waits out the invulnerability. Ben Gold just a bit too hesitant yeah. to get up. I like that from Korean. Hitting him back with exactly what he got hit with before. Oh! oh. Uh, aggressive on stage option there from Ben. Gonna pay out big for him. But he's back off stage again. Can Korean get something? Just a forward air. Ben's gonna go, gotta do it all over again. Ben Gold actually reads the jump as well and great yeah, prediction. Jump reads have been uh, stellar coming out from Ben Gold. He took a stock with that, I believe, the first game and this game as well. Yeah, it takes quite a powerful move to kill a midweight like Wolf with an up air at 110, but K Rule's up air is exactly that. Not even going for the pummel, just taking his time there. Ben, I wonder if Ben is trolling at this point. <laughs> He's going for the cheese really hard. Time for a lot. Firewolf is actually just going to expire, and he'll be met with another grab from Ben Gold. Okay, tries to land. Uh, ben trying to land here. It looks like Korean going to go high, maybe thinking that Ben is going to go up high into the sky. Uh, all right, up smash taking it, though. Yeah, but just barely, and Ben Gold still nursing about a 67% lead. A bit of that gone after the F bear. And Korean is swinging for the fences here. I see him going out super high, this kind of thing. He's got to be careful, uh, more careful here, more measured in his... Oh! Not that too far away from the fair air there. Okay. Forward air, all right, forward throw. Ben off stage again. And he's going to make it back. Korean needs to be patient here. He's he's sort of let the situation get away from himself when, when Ben has been gotten back on stage. Down throw and almost wanted to go for that down smash afterwards. In fact, did go for it. Oh, Ben tries to catch him running in with that back air. Oh, up air coming out. That would have taken the stock, but Korean air dodging. Yeah, Korean knows that he does. Oh, no! Oh. Reverses the direction off of the blunderbuss, and Ben Gold, for better or for worse, is going to just take it by the slimmest of margins. 